All right, so what's up, YouTube? It's the Night Saint here, back another video, and this video is going to be about secrets of instant healing. Uh, the book by uh, Frank Kinslow. I think I, I read. I just finished reading it, probably like probably like a day ago, for real. I always had this book. I about to say uh, I just been taking more more of my healer stuff serious, so I just reread it. And if I can give like a little mini review on it, it's basically speaking about peer awareness, right? And how you could basically heal with pure awareness. And I think I spoke about this in the video about how to taste like pure consciousness. And it's like a meditation where basically you learn to kind of like allow your mind to, it's about trying to find a gap in your thoughts. And then when you find a gap in your thoughts, it's like you tapping into like an aspect of pure awareness where that zero point where nothing exists, that, that, that void, that blackness where anything can come up out of and you're using that that void to really heal people you 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 allowing that void to rebalance out let's say any physical or emotional or just mental you know imbalances but with the book it's speaking about that main point and I haven't used any like of the healing, but I'm 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 planning on using it during like my own healing business when I get start really helping people heal. Like I said, it's not about me healing, but when I start helping people heal for real. But the book was uh, amazing. It was I ain't gonna lie, the book was easy to understand. I was about to say when you read the book, you know, you're not gonna be sitting there like wondering like what this is. They explain a lot of these concepts and ideas perfectly, and they give you diagrams about how to really do this type of stuff. Uh. And the crazy thing about this book is a very, I'm not going to be honest, I'm be honest, it's a very lazy way of healing. They even said it in the book. It's like, it's like, for one, it's about putting the intent down, like I said. And, and then if you in this spiritual or even just a magical community that speak about how intent is important. Like I said, having a, a clear intention about what you want to do is very important. If you don't have a clear intent, then I don't think you should be doing anything, really. But with that intent, the intent carries the healing. The awareness and the intent carries the healing. Let me say that more specifically. And when you can accurately create intention and, you know, have enough confidence in yourself, you know, because I think this type of work always need confidence, whether, you know, you, of course you're not doing the healing specifically, but you need to be confident enough that, you know, you know what you're talking about. And I think that's probably one of the worst let I me mean, I mean, not even say worse because that's a bad way of putting it but that's one of the things that I think you must understand with anything you do in life is that you got to be confident and, and you must understand what you're doing you, like, you can't be a representative of anything if you don't understand the power and what you're doing and that's how I feel like I am Like that's what I feel like I needed to do with becoming a healer I'm like, I got to know what am I doing what exactly am I tapping into what energy am I tapping into to even help people get to this state of you know homeostasis inside their body, you know, and alleviate suffering that somebody may be experiencing. Like, I got to understand A through Z, what exactly am I doing? What system am I using? What energies am I even interacting with? I'm not saying they're dangerous or nothing, but I just got to understand because let's say you may come across people that may not understand. They they don't know. They don't come from this world. They don't, they're not aware of this, you know, type of work. So you are essentially there opening or like they, you know, they guide us out or, you know, like, let's say like when you go to like a new school or something or like somebody to show you like a, 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 a tour, <laughs> I forgot the word, <laughs> like you basically give somebody a tour of what this system is and what they do with this system. So you must be a good representation of what it is and have a good understanding, you know, so, and this book honestly gave me a better understanding of what a healer is and really updated me on some ethics behind it because you know you just want to be ethical with this type of stuff you know like I said you can't heal nobody or send healing to anybody that don't want it you know as bad as that may sound you know some people don't want it and there's no reason why you should even waste your time on people like that to begin with so yeah secrets is a healing I think anybody should pick it up it's a good and it's a, the book is short so like I said you should you could be able to read that in like a day for real and I wish I was that type of person where I could just sit down a day and just read but you know that sound like some geek shit, but <laughs> that's really how I think, though. Like, I just be wanting to gain as much information as quickly as possible, but, you know, like, don't always work like that. But if y'all like the video, uh, check out the book for sure. 
uh, I'm gonna definitely give a review on like the actual like healing methods used in the book and go deeper into that for real because you know, you know, I want to get in, into a, like a series like reading books so people don't have to. So it's like it's kind of like a short version of the book, like an overview, and you know, so you can get you know, of course you got to read the book to get more information, but I just want to get people moving and you know, trying to build an audience. So if y'all like the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Thank you.